Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Wilson, uh, Marketing 311. Uh, this is my first vlog, so bear with me. Uh, there's a little bit of photo editing that goes along with it. Uh, I try to do my uh, best. Uh, today we're going to talk about advertising and the role it plays in marketing. And what exactly is advertising? Uh, you walk down the street, you ask anybody, hey, what is marketing? They're going to tell you it's advertising, and that's not the case. Uh, marketing is not advertising. Advertising is not marketing. Uh, the two terms are not synonymous. Uh, rather, advertising is a category of an element of marketing. Uh, you talk uh, elements, there's four primary uh, elements uh, of marketing as coined by Jerome McCarthy, a professor, uh, probably one of the top leaders in the marketing field. Uh, but the four elements that form marketing are product, price, place, and promotion. Uh, advertising is part of that promotion uh, piece. So if you look at the pie, you divide them up into the, into the four elements and you take a look at promotion, you start looking at the different types of promoting a product, whether it's sales promotions, personal sellings, public relations, direct, and digital marketing, of course, advertising. Uh, that's all the promotional tools that fall underneath that element. Advertising is the most recognizable piece of marketing. Uh, it's always there. It's always in your face. Uh, people don't even realize it, and it's right there. In today's world, uh, advertising is on people's hats, uh, walking down the street. You can see it uh, in papers, newspapers, magazines, especially the specialty magazines. You open up the page in uh, Gun Magazine, for instance. Uh, it would advertise different makes, models uh, of guns, ammunition, accessories, so on and so forth. Uh, same thing for like clothing. Uh, you open up a clothing ma uh, magazine and over half the magazine is paid advertisement. It's always there. Uh, they use every possible media um, to get that message to the individual. Uh, they do it through television. There's 30 minutes of commercial for 30 minutes of TV shows. There's uh, You talk about newspapers, uh, journals, magazines, everything in print, so to speak. Um, turn on the radio. You have three songs uh, consecutively and then... 30 minutes of advertising for the local area, whatever it may be. Internet, oh my gosh. You know, Facebook is riddled with paid advertisement. Uh, you, there's direct selling, mailers, sponsorship, poster, everything through advertising. Uh, so we, advertising is defined as a form of market communication by companies uh, to promote or sell goods, services, items, products, uh, and it's a way for them to get that message to the consumer. I mean, the primary goal of advertising is to influence uh, buyer behavior. Uh, they, they want them to want you to crave their product. They're trying to fill that void in the spectrum, and they're saying, hey, look at this. I have this for sale. Uh, come and get it. Uh, so it's, it's a non-personal presentation or promotion of ideas. Uh, or services as identified by the sponsor. So what does this advertisement get you? Uh, or get the uh, company or the business uh, that is selling the good? Uh, well, the rate of return is, or the, the return on investment, ROI, varies uh, for different medias. Uh, you look at... Uh, what the company is trying to achieve. Uh, for instance, you wouldn't take a local small time company and put it on national broadcast TV. Instead, you would purchase a billboard, uh, which it has the highest rate on return, according to Entrepreneur Magazine, or the uh, uh, based on a report by Nelson Cantina Solutions, that has the highest return. Uh, you start looking at national broadcast TV. Uh, this would be a company that has uh, outlets across the United States, and a typical cost on that, or the average cost last year, was three hundred forty thousand, roughly. Uh, that was Adage uh, that published that number. 
uh, I mean, it ranges all the way up to four and a half million dollars for the Super Bowl commercials. Everybody likes the Budweiser frogs or the the uh, Budweiser horses. Uh, one of my favorites. But you start looking at what does it actually get you. Well, the average return on ad spent is uh, roughly three to one. Uh, that means for every dollar you spend on advertisement, you're getting three dollars in return. Now, if you just think about that for a second, how many times do you sit there at primetime TV and you see the same commercial over and over and over again? Well, they're still getting three to one on that advertisement that they're putting out there. Uh, that was pretty much to expect it. Now, when you start looking at advertising, which media you're going to put it on, you have to take a couple of things in consideration. Uh, whether it's a local, small-time business, uh, then you would want to target just a local audience. And that's where your billboards come in, or local radio, um, uh, even a local paper uh, to play that in. Uh, but then you start looking at globally. How do you reach a global market? TV is great if you're reaching national, but how do you reach the global market? And that's where the internet ads come into play. Um, you start uh, putting ads on Facebook, and as people start clicking around, and uh, it broadcasts out that way. Uh, so that's what advertisement rate of return is getting you, or the rate of investment is getting you. It's that global, national, or local recognition for your uh, product or service. We start talking about that level of recognition that you want or that the company desires. And uh, what's cool to me is how or what the companies are willing to do to get that national brand recognition through advertisement, uh, especially these big brands. Uh, it, it's kind of cool because it's morphed. It's more from just a quick 10, 15, 20 second ad on the you know, TV, on the radio, whatever it might be, to even now – they're turning advertisements into movies. Uh, the entire movie is an advertisement. It's 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 great uh, from a strategic standpoint. It, it's just it's amazing thinking long term. It's like hey, let's just get rid of the 10, 30 second block intervals and let's just make a movie about it. Uh, entertain the guys or the gals and you know with the product. Uh, you know it just makes that product that more. That much more desirable. Yeah, one of the when I think about uh, advertainment is what they branded the name as advertainment. I think of the Lego movie. Uh, so here it is: the entire course of the movie, Legos are in your face. You're being entertained by Legos, uh, cartoon Legos, whatever they may be, uh, throughout the duration of the movie. It's uh, it not only gained them popularity in the younger generations that might have forgotten how or what Legos were uh, and kind of brought them back in full force. The, uh, but it also appealed to the older generations uh, that re reminisce about their childhood and playing with Legos. Looking at just the Lego movie, you start to understand how the marketing uh, strategy played into it. Uh, when we start talking about the reach, the frequency, the impact, and the uh, engagement of the audience, um, because here's Lego, uh, a well-known national brand and even internationally uh, known. And by making this movie, they expanded all the way out to international levels. Uh, they were able to choose a media type that facilitated global reach. And that was through the course of the movie. The Lego movie was just a one example of how effective advertisement uh, can really play an important part in your overall marketing strategy. Understanding where you want, where you are, where you want to be, uh, is helps you determine as the marketer of uh, which medium to use. I mean, you have to before you choose a medium. We use Lego movies as a big screen movie theaters, uh, but you have to understand the medium and the advantages and limitations of each one of those. Uh, as you move down that route to use this tool, uh, you also have to understand what your budget is. Uh, what demographic are you playing to? Uh, are you trying to uh, 
influence. And understanding all these considerations helps the company move forward with their marketing strategy. So during the course of this video, we discussed uh, numeral, numerous aspects of advertisement. We now understand that it is not marketing. It is just a tool of marketing. Uh, it is a tool to help get to the audience, to get that brand recognition, to get that influence out there amongst the customers. Uh, we understand that there's numerous uh, outlets of advertisement, uh, different forms of media, uh, whether it is uh, direct mail, radios, uh, boards on the side of the road, even the guy in the Liberty outfit jumping up and down and says, get your taxes here. Uh, all these play into the marketing strategy, who you're actually trying to contact, who you're trying to reach uh, for this uh, brand recognition. Uh, I really appreciate uh, everybody's attention during the video, and I look forward to reading some of your comments uh, below. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you guys have a great day.